Creating a bootable USB drive for an old Mac operating system on a modern Mac can be challenging for many people. Errors are common and can be frustrating, but don't worry. Because in this video, I will not only show you multiple methods for creating a fully functional Mac bootable USB drive for an older operating system, but I will also show you how to troubleshoot various errors that may occur during this process. This video is a comprehensive guide and will work perfectly if you follow every step without skipping any part. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends creating a bootable USB drive for older Mac operating systems can be a little tricky on Apple Silicon or newer Intel Macs, but it is not impossible, and here is the step-by-step -step instructions. First we talk about the basic requirements, which include three things, a blank USB drive, an old Mac OS installer, and a Mac computer. The size of the USB drive will depend on the size of your Mac OS installer, but usually, a 16GB USB drive is more than enough for this process. Please note that the USB drive will be erased during this process, so make sure that you have backed up your USB data before proceeding. In case you don't have a Mac OS installer, you can download it from the official Apple website. Don't worry, it's a simple process. All you need to do is open your web browser and visit the Apple support page. Scroll down, all old and new Mac operating systems are available for download on this page. Some operating systems can be downloaded directly from here, while for others, you need to use the App Store. The operating systems that can be downloaded directly from the Apple website are Mac OS Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and Mac OS X Lion. Please keep in mind that Mac OS X Lion is the last oldest OS, which can be downloaded from Apple's website. For demonstration, I have selected Mac OS X Lion and Mac OS Sierra. The reason for choosing two operating systems is that the method of creating a bootable USB drive for each operating system is different. Mac OS Lion and Mountain Lion require a different method, while Mac OS Yosemite to Sierra requires a different one. Both of these operating systems are compatible with many older Mac models. Anyway, let's download them by clicking on their respective links. As soon as you click on the link, the installer will start downloading onto your Mac. Please note that the download time may depend on your internet speed. You can expedite the process by using a download manager. Anyway, after downloading the macOS installer, the second step is to prepare your USB drive. For that, plug the USB drive into your Mac and wait for it to mount. Next, open the Disk Utility app. The Disk Utility app is located in the Utilities folder of your Applications folder. In Disk Utility, go to the View menu and select Show All Devices. Then, in the left sidebar, select the top level of your USB drive and click on the Erase button. In the Name field, type a name for the USB drive. In the Format drop-down menu, select macOS Extended Journaled. In the Scheme drop-down menu, select Gwid Partition Map. Once everything is set, click the Erase button to start the process. When the erasing is complete, click on the Done button and close the Disk Utility app. Once you have prepared your USB drive, go to your Downloads folder to locate the downloaded macOS files. These files may be named Install macOS or something similar. To open the DMG file, simply double-click on it. You will notice that the macOS installer comes in package format, which is essentially a zip format. Therefore, you need to extract the macOS installer first from the package file to create a bootable USB drive. The process is quite simple. Just double-click on the package file and install it on your Mac. Within a few seconds, the macOS installer will be saved in your application folder. Once you have saved the macOS installer in the applications folder, creating a bootable USB drive will become an easy task. Later on, I will explain how to do it. However, before that, let me show you what you should do if you face any error while extracting the macOS installer from the package file. If you encounter any error while extracting the installer from the package file, you need to install a good archive software, like RAR Extractor. After installing the archive software, right-click on the package file and choose Open With. If your software is not listed in the options, choose Others and search for your software. After opening the package file in your preferred software, you can select the location where you want to save the extracted files. For easy access, I usually extract files to my desktop, but you can choose any location on your Mac. 
After the extraction process is complete, eject the DMG file, as it is no longer needed, and navigate to the extracted folder. Here you will see some files, including the installos.package file. Now, right-click on the installos file and choose the option, Show All Package Contents. Next, you need to locate the install ESD file. It's important to note that the macOS Lion and Mountain Lion ESD files contain the complete macOS installer. If you double-click and open the ESD file, you will be able to see that the full Mac installer is present. Additionally, if you press the command shift and period keys combination to reveal hidden system files, you will find macOS boot files in this folder as well. So this means that restoring this ESD file to our USB drive will make our USB drive bootable. So let's restore this file to our USB drive and learn what to do if an error occurs during restoration. Open the Disk Utility app. Now right-click on the USB drive and choose Restore. From the Restore drop-down menu, choose Mac OS X Install ESD. Click on the Restore button. The restore process may take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. Congratulations, we have successfully created a bootable USB drive of macOS Lion, and now it's ready to use. Now let me show you what to do if you encounter an error while restoring the macOS Lion ESD file. If you face an error while trying to restore a DMG file using Disk Utility, then you can use the Terminal app. And here is step-by-step -step instructions. First, drag the Lion ESD file to your desktop. Now open the Terminal app. paste the command provided in the video description. Give a space and drag the macOS Lion ESD file into the terminal window. Give another space and type dash dash target. Give a space and drag your USB drive into the terminal window. Everything is okay, now hit the enter key, type your admin password and hit the enter key again. Type Y for confirmation and hit the enter key. That's all, this process will restore the Lion ESD file to your USB drive. The restore process may take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. Once the process is complete, your USB drive will be ready to use. Let's check the drive. You can see that we successfully created a macOS Lion bootable USB drive using the terminal app. If you found the terminal method difficult, then you have an alternative option to bypass the error of disk utility restoration. For that, restart your computer in recovery mode. Usually, we use Command plus D or Mac power button for that. If you want to learn more about Mac recovery, check out my separate video on the topic. The link is in the video description. Anyway, in recovery mode, go to the Utilities menu and launch the Terminal app. Now disable the SIP. Type Xriddle, give a space, and type Disable. Hit the Enter key, and that's all. Now restart your computer. After restart, launch the disk utility and restore the macOS disk image. This time, there will be no errors during the restoration. After you have restored the macOS file, I highly recommend that you immediately re-enable SIP again. To re-enable SIP, restart your computer in recovery mode. Launch terminal from the utilities menu. Type Xriddle, give a space, and type enable. Hit the enter key and restart your computer. That's it. Now let's learn how to create a macOS Sierra bootable USB drive on a newer Mac. The process is almost identical. First, format your USB drive in macOS Extended Journal and then open the Sierra DMG file. Now install the package file into your Mac. If you receive an error, then as before, right-click on the package file and extract it. After extracting, go to your extracted folder and right-click on Install OS file and choose Show Package Contents. Now double-click on Install ESD file to mount. By default, you will only see the packages folder in it. However, if you reveal the hidden files by pressing the Command Shift and Period key simultaneously, you will see some additional files. The next step is to locate the base system DMG file and mount it. Now first close all open windows and then open the Disk Utility application. From sidebar, 
Right-click on your USB drive and select Restore. From the Restore drop-down menu, choose OS X Base System and click on the Restore button. The restore process won't take long, as the file is small. Once the restore is complete, click the Done button and close the Disk Utility app. If you encounter any error during this process, you can use one of our earlier methods to bypass the error. Anyway, after restoring the base system to your USB drive, you need to add additional files. So navigate to the Install ESD folder of your installer again and copy the base system.dmg and base system.checklist files onto your USB drive. After copying both files, go to the system folder of your USB drive and then open the installation folder. Here you will see a shortcut named packages. Delete it. Leave the current folder open and go back to the installer ESD folder. Copy the packages folder from there and paste it into your USB drive. So what we done here? We replaced the packages shortcut with the actual folder. We are almost done, just one last step remaining. Go to your USB drive. Right-click on the Install macOS Sierra and select Show All Package Contents. Open the Contents folder and then the Resources folder. Locate the Install Assistant icon file from this folder and copy it. Now go back to your USB drive and paste this file here. Rename the copied file to volumeicon.icons. Please note that you need to type the exact name, which I have typed here, and that's it. Our USB drive is now ready to use, and now we can install macOS Sierra on our Mac using this USB drive. Now I will explain how to create a bootable USB drive of an old macOS installer, which is in app format. As I mentioned before, once we successfully install the package file on our Mac, the macOS installer is automatically extracted and saved in our applications folder. These installers have the .app extension. There are several ways to create a bootable USB drive using these types of installers. Don't worry, I will also explain how to fix errors if you encounter any. You can use terminal, a third-party application, or a manual method to create a bootable USB drive from these types of installers. Here are step-by-step -step instructions for each of these methods. First, we use the terminal, as this is the method recommended by Apple. Please note that to use the terminal method, your USB drive must be formatted in macOS Extended Journal and your installer must be saved in your application folder. Next, copy the terminal command of your desired OS from the video description and paste it into your terminal app. We chose macOS Sierra for demonstration because it is the most popular and demanding operating system. After pasting the terminal command, replace this text with the name of your USB drive. Now hit the Enter key, type your admin password, and hit the Enter key again. Type Y to confirm and press the Enter key. That's all, now wait for the terminal app to finish creating the bootable USB drive. Once it's done, you'll receive a message confirming that the USB is ready to use. Let's check the drive. Perfect. Now let's learn what to do if you encounter any error while creating a Sierra bootable drive. If you encounter any error while creating Sierra bootable drive, such as your terminal getting stuck or receiving an error message saying not valid volume mount point, etc., etc., then don't worry, simply copy this terminal command from the video description and paste it into your terminal app. Press the Enter key, type your admin password, and press Enter key again. After that, Paste the macOS Sierra bootable USB terminal command. Replace your USB name with this text and hit the Enter key. You should notice that this time, the terminal will not give you any error and your command will work perfectly. After some time, you will see that the terminal has successfully created a bootable drive for you. Let's check the drive. Perfect! Our macOS Sierra bootable USB drive was successfully created on macOS Sonoma, along with the boot files. In case you prefer not to use the terminal at all, then don't worry. We have a manual method that you can use as an alternative. Simply right-click on the installer and select Show All Contents. Then click on Contents, and then Shared Support, to access the install ESD file. Once you have obtained the install ESD file, then follow the same steps that I explained earlier. Now I will explain how to create a bootable USB drive for an old operating system using a third-party app. There are many apps available for creating a Mac bootable USB drive, both free and paid. I choose Mac Daddy Install Disk Creator because it is simple, free, and easy to use. 
You can download this app from the Mac Daddy website. Once you download and open the app, you will see a simple easy and clean interface. From select the volume section, choose your USB drive. Now click on this button and choose your macOS installer. This time, we will use macOS El Capitan. Click the Create Installer button to start the process. This process will erase your USB disk. That's why you see this message. If you're sure, click the Erase Disk button. Now enter your admin password and click on OK. This app will create a Mac bootable USB drive real fast. Once completed, you will receive a notification message. Let's check the bootable drive. You can see that our bootable USB drive has been created successfully. I hope this video helps you. If this video works for you, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.